Our next section focuses on custom scripting and JAR files. A JAR file, which stands for Java Archive, is a package file format typically used to aggregate many Java class files, associated metadata and resources, such as text and images, into one file to distribute application software or libraries on the Java platform. In Atomsphere, JAR files reference custom Java classes developed for your local or cloud Atom outside of the Atomsphere. There are three types of JARs, general that support multi-functions, and these JARs are stored in the user lib folder, scripting that support custom scripting, and these JARs are stored in user lib slash script, and finally connector that support a particular connector. These JARs are stored in user lib slash whatever the connector type is named. Each time a new or updated class is referenced, the runtime must be restarted to be available to use it. Custom library components and JARs must be deployed independently. They are not referenced by a process or any other components, and we will take a look at how to do this in the next slides. To deploy a JAR file, first upload the custom JAR to the account libraries. This can be found under Setup and Account Libraries. Each Dell Boomi account has access to 100 megabytes of space for uploaded files. Next, create a custom library component in the Build tab. Add one or more of the uploaded JAR files in the account library to the component. And when you create a connector custom library, you also specify a connector type, such as database. Once you create a custom library component, you cannot change its type. Step three is to deploy the custom library component. When you deploy a custom library component, the jar files that it references are deployed to the appropriate user lib folder. In the deploy tab, you need to change the dropdown list from processes to customer libraries to view the custom libraries components. Once deployed, the jars are visible in the platform by navigating to management, app management, clicking on an atom, and then selecting the Installed Libraries menu item.